Scott. I want to go ahead and just quickly touch on a procedure that happily we don't do on an everyday basis for kids. But that involves if a little kid, just like a big old adult, has the mother of all pneumos. Meaning they don't just have a collapsed lung, they have a tension pneumothorax. So with that in mind, quick reminder when it comes to anatomy. On the outside you've got your skin, then to no surprise you've got your ribs. Tucked underneath there is where you've got your lungs. And remember, normally the two pleura, or the two linings, you've got one that's on the chest wall, and you have one that's on the lung itself. And normally they sit right on top of each other with a little bit of fluid so that that way every time you breathe, it doesn't hurt. However, when you get a collapsed lung, you now have air that's trapped between the very stiff ribs and chest wall and your very compressible lung. So with that in mind, when you have a big old tension pneumo, do you die because you have one lung? And the answer is no, because God gave you two. You can walk world with one and do just fine. The reason you die is, remember, because as this whole area gets squished, it continues to shove everything over here. And what gets squished is your heart, your aorta, your great vessels, and that's what's going to kill you. So with it in mind, yes, you're going to get a chest tube. But by the time you open up your chest tube tray, your patient is probably dead. So what this does is just keep you alive until you can pop in a chest tube. So with that in mind, a couple quick things. First of which, when you needle a kid, do you needle the same place as an adult? And the answer is called yes. Because yet again, God gave you one trachea and two lungs. And last time I looked, they're in the same spot. So therefore, when we needle the front, we typically, remember, go for the second intercostal. So you find your clavicle. Right underneath your clavicle, that's your first intercostal. Find the next rib, find one more below that. And right above that is where you're gonna find your second intercostal space, so right above the third rib. So that's your second intercostal on the front, or if you stick the side, we stick the fifth. So an easy way to remember this is on the front of your chest, you hopefully have two nipples. So it's the second intercostal on the front. And if your trauma patient's arms are tucked at their side, they hopefully have five fingers. So it's the fifth if you stick them on the side. Take that one step further. Do you stick the needle above the rib or below the rib? And that's called above. And the rationale being is remember underneath each rib, is things like arteries and veins and nerves. All things bad hide below the rib. So when we're going to stick, we stick above the rib. And the way you remember that is simple and that's called, if you stick in a needle, do you want your patient to be above the dirt or below the dirt? And that's as a rule, we prefer to keep our patients above the dirt. So you stick your needle above the rib exactly the same places, exactly the same techniques as you would with an adult. Same spot, just a little bit smaller needle. 